we're gonna go over some of the mapping features inside the new Hunt Control app. So first you'll need to open up your app and we're gonna start on this cameras page. So make sure you're selected cameras down here at the bottom navigation. There's actually several places you're gonna see maps inside of the app. So we're gonna go over a few of those today. The most prominent is down here at the bottom of the cameras page, you're gonna see the map button. This is gonna show all of your smart cams, all of your data cams, all of your SD card cams, and all of your map pins on one screen. So we can see right now, from this large view, I've got one camera located down here around Baton Rouge. That's where Wise Eye is located. It's down here around Baton Rouge. And I've got 10 more cameras and pins located up here on my hunting property in North Louisiana. We have all of these options down here. We can actually use these to zoom in. So if we want to zoom in on just this blind, we could just keep tapping that button and it's going to continue to zoom in on that camera until we're only looking at that one map pin. We can use this button here to actually show our location. And so if you wanted to add a pin at your location, this would be the button you'd want to use is you can use this to zoom the map to your location. This screen only displays the map pins. It doesn't allow you to edit too much. You can click here and open up the individual pins and edit them. So we're going to open up this camera and we're going to edit it. Again, you're going to see the map here at the top of the screen. We can zoom in on the map to see this camera. And you can tell which camera we're, we're editing because we've got our camera in orange and all the other cameras are grayed out. So you can tell that this camera is different from all of those. From this screen, we could move that camera around. So that is actually the wrong location for that camera. That camera is actually in a different spot. So we can either pick up the pin and move it this way, or if you know exactly where that camera is supposed to be, in this case, that camera is actually supposed to be about right here. We can just hold our finger on that spot and the pin will jump over to join us. It, alternatively, if you know the GPS location, you can actually tap here to enter the latitude and longitude of that camera. And of course, you could zoom the map to your location by clicking this button. Once you've got to that location, you can hold your finger on it to make that map pin follow you on over. Now, when we add something to the map, it's very similar to what we've already showed. We'll go to add. Of course, if you're adding a camera to the map, you'll, it'll be just like that camera screen I just showed you. You can also add map pins to it. So if you wanted to add a pin, for instance, maybe you want to add where a blind is. That's actually what it's, what it's set on right now. You could do that. We're just going to zoom in so we'll get a little closer and see where everything is supposed to be. And we're going to add that pin. Um, we're going to add that pin. Let's see. We'll move it to maybe right here. So we're going to hold our finger there and the pin jumps over. We could set some information. We could give this pin a name. So we're going to just call this one pin one and hit done. And then we can make this pin at all types of things. So a stand, trail, camp, or feeder. So we're going to say this one is a camp. And we'll put that pin there. Um, and you could also search if you wanted to search by an address or zip code, you could use this screen here to search for those locations. Once you're done editing, of course, you'll click save. And now that pin will appear here on our cameras page. You'll see pin one. And if we go to our map, you will see pin one on the map as well. And then from the map, we could click pin one and edit. And we're right back to that screen we just left. So that is a little bit about the mapping section. Of course, if you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. We'd love to help you. We hope that you're enjoying the new app and all the hunt control features, and we hope you have the best of luck this season.